oranges. I know, right? Come on. What, did we send him a good king cake? We should have. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, we're definitely. <laughs> I don't get that. We live two hours from Florida. We can drive to Florida. Anyways, uh, we're waking up this morning. Kind of a mixed bag of weather. We've got cool conditions on the North Shore, South Shore. It is warm. It is humid. It feels like summer outside this morning with the low 70s. But look at that 59 in Hammond and even 59 in Bogalusa. So the cooler air is right on our doorstep and it will get here later today. Here's what you're going to see as you head out the door. We do have a dense fog advisory, but a lot of this is still kind of elevated. So I uh, still could see some fog across the area through the morning hours, but um, it's struggling to get to the surface right now here in the metro. Hammond, you're at three miles. Most of uh, the interstate going up to Baton Rouge, you won't run until fog until you get up towards the Gonzalez area. Uh, Galliano sitting at a mile, and then there is some dense fog. If you go north of Slide, uh, up into the Pearl River Basin, getting up towards Picayune, you're going to run into fog because that's a little bit lower of an area and it fog usually develops there a little bit more easy. So uh, this morning we'll stay warm, we'll stay humid, we'll continue with a few showers here and there with some fog through 9 a.m. But by this afternoon, some sunshine comes out. We'll be in the 70s this morning, but then dropping later this afternoon, we'll get into uh, the 60s. So that's when that cooler air finally starts to move on in. I mentioned there are some showers. Most of it's pretty spotty on the North Shore. Most of the heavy rain falls up into um, uh, portions of Georgia and Alabama. That's where it's mostly going to stay, but we could see one or two showers here and there. And we're certainly seeing some on the North Shore up towards Bogalusa, Franklinton, just some spotty light rain even over towards Hammond and up towards Amy. So as that cool front continues to move on in, it'll continue to push some of the showers a little bit further towards the south shore and we could see one or two showers. Now once that front moves through tomorrow morning is going to be cold and it's going to be a shock to the system because we've been so warm lately. Now we're not really expecting freezing temperatures, but you're going to wake up with the mid 30s on the north shore here in New Orleans will be in the low 40s uh, for your Thursday morning and even a few upper 30s as you go towards the river and the bayou parishes. So certainly cold. It's also going to turn very windy this afternoon, anywhere between 15 to 20 miles per hour. Hour, and that's going to continue into tomorrow morning, which means our wind chills are going to be a big factor tomorrow morning. Some spots feeling like the upper 20s tomorrow morning here in New Orleans. We could be feeling like the low 30s, some upper 20s and low 30s for your wind chill down towards uh, Homa and Thibodeau. So overall going to be cold uh, tomorrow morning and then our highs only get into the mid 50s for your Thursday afternoon. Friday morning will likely be the coldest. I do think we'll see a light freeze north of the interstate here. We could get to around 32 degrees or so. Uh, not a hard freeze expected at all. And then here in New Orleans, we'll stay in the low 40s with a few upper 30s as you get away from New Orleans towards Thibodeau and Homa. So Friday morning will be the coldest and then it all changes. It doesn't last long. We'll have our next storm system move on in. So here's our current storm system. We've got the rainfall that cool front will take through today to get on in here. We're eventually going to have this northwest flow, meaning the winds in the upper levels will be flowing from northwest to southeast. That will push in some drier air that will clear these clouds out and eventually get that cold and cold air in here tonight. However, as we go into Saturday, Saturday, our next storm system moves on in there. We'll return to the southwest flow. Clouds will start to increase this weekend. We'll have some showers build in late Saturday into early Sunday, and then we'll once again have northwest flow as we go in into the beginning of next week, which means we'll get another little round of cooler air. So roller coaster ride. Here we go. 71 today will be this morning, dropping this afternoon. 56 tomorrow. It is going to be nice and cool tomorrow. 61 on Friday. Friday is looking great because uh, we're going to have sunshine too. 70s this weekend, but we'll be fighting off with the rain and the clouds and then we dip back down to the low 60s to upper 50s by Monday and Tuesday of next week. So kind of just a little bit of everything as we go throughout the seven day forecast. Rain this morning will be clearing out along with the fog. This afternoon we'll see some sunshine. It will be windy tomorrow morning cold highs in the mid 50s. We stay in the low 60s on Friday with the freeze north of the lake Friday morning and then your best shot of rain this weekend right now looks like it will come by Saturday night into early Sunday.